Brad, you've had a couple of days to look at the new draftees. Your thoughts on Trent Jamond? Oh, well, I mean, we've done the work over the three years um, on Trent. We've obviously, we're like every club, we're very, very pleased our first pick's there when, when our turn comes around. But, um, look, Trent's an outstanding young man. I think that's the most important thing. He's, uh, he's, his character is, is top-notch and um, you know, he's a really good decision-maker, a smart and versatile midfielder. Um, you know, like a lot of, of young guys, he, he knows he's got a lot of work to do and, and we're training at a pretty high intensity here at altitude, so it certainly is a bit of a baptism of fire for him, but um, look, he's acquitted himself really well so far and um, as I said at the start, the most important thing is he's a quality young man. Seems to be a pretty strongly built young kid, how much is that going to help him next year in the senior transition? Well, having played senior football already in the, in the sample is important and you know, he's already shown that he can, he can play multiple positions and he can play on different types of opponents and he doesn't get overawed by the, the bigger, stronger bodies. And um, Look, he's, he's got quite a good frame on, on him already and I think by the end of this pre-season he'll, um, you know, he'll be capable of, of mixing it with senior AFL players. Um, you know, but we're not going to rush him. You know, we're going to make sure we get a really good solid base into him. And, um, but you know, the type of person he is, it wouldn't surprise me if he pushes for senior selection early on. Ben Brown, you've obviously seen a little bit of at, at Werribee. He impresses you a lot, obviously, to take him at pick 47. Yeah, I, I, look, I think Ben's a great story. I've, I've got a lot of admiration for players that, that do it the hard way, and, and Ben hasn't had it, everything come easy to him. He's, um, he's had some injuries as a youngster. Um, he's put himself outside of his comfort zone, moved away from Tasmania and, and um, moved into a place at Werribee and, and really dedicated himself to his footy. And, you know, I, I'm just... I was wrapped before the draft that I knew Ben was going to get an opportunity at AFL level. I mean, we would have loved to have picked him, which we did. Um, but if we didn't, we knew someone else would. So um, I think it's a great story. And you know, it's a credit to Ben with his work ethic and persistence and a, a great lesson for other young players out there who don't make it first time. How much of a bonus is his versatility playing both forward and ruck? Yeah, well, uh, it's crucial in modern football. You know, the way uh, interchange is going and the way the sub's going. and. Uh, to have players who can play multiple positions is, is really important. And we still think we've got a lot of um, players that people think probably are key forwards, but we think they can play key back as well. So, you know, Ben is, is one of those. We st still see him predominantly as a forward ruck. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of versatility with our tools now, and I think it, it gives us great coverage both forward and back and in the ruck. Luke McDonald obviously delighted to officially welcome him on board now. Yeah, it is, and, and Luke's had a really good preparation. I, I was just wrapped with his final series for Werribee last year, and he's proved at the state league level he's, uh, you know, he's a very good player. So he's going to be pushing for senior selection very early on. But he's got a lot of competition right at the moment. So, um, you know, I think the, the the year Luke's had with us um, prior to being drafted officially is going to hold him in really good stead for next year. How much will that time at Werribee help him that senior football, that senior experience? Yeah, look, I, look, I th don't think we should underestimate what a tough year it was for Luke last year. He's juggling, uh, playing for Werribee, his first year university, uh, he's playing and captaining Vic Metro at the same time. Um, so we had to we had to juggle a lot of different coaches, a lot of different messages, and and look, I, I think a time that was really challenging for Luke, but he he came through that really well and. Um, look, he's shown through his junior career so far that he's a big game player and when the, the pressure comes on, he tends to, to produce his best. So that's a great attribute for any young man. Joel Tippett, a rookie, obviously delighted to get some more depth in that back line. Yeah, we are. I mean, again, I think it's a, it's a great lesson for players who um, things necessarily don't work out for them the first time if they persist and they go back to to a different level and the Sample's a very good level of football and, and you know, Joel had to play on a lot of quality key forwards in that competition and, and you know he stood head and shoulders above the next best key defender so he gets his opportunity uh, and you know I know he'll grasp it with both hands. Kane Turner is a pretty slightly built guy, might be a bit of a development prospect but exciting nonetheless. Yeah well I, I think we probably have, have spoken about him as a development prospect but I hope Kane's not thinking that way. Uh, of The way he plays his footy and the, and the type, type of attributes he's got as a, a genuine competitor, um, you know very very hard at the footy even though he's slightly built. You know I would expect Kane to come in and, and uh, want to make an impression very early on and you know, he's a, while he's a rookie, we've seen a lot of rookies play senior football and you know, he can look to Sam Gibson and others who, who have come on the rookie list and, and come on and, and made a, a significant impact at AFL level in their first year. And while a lot of people wouldn't expect that of Kane, you know, I think he would expect that of himself. Two weeks into the Utah camp, you're delighted with the boys' approach. They've been going really hard on the track. 
Yeah, they have. The intensity's gone to another level again. Uh, and, and look, part of that's because, you know, our, our group's a year older. You know, we've we've retained most of our senior players and, and our, our younger guys are obviously a year older and another year of training under their belt. So they, they're looking really good. But, I mean, they looked really good this time last year as well. So, I mean, we've got to temper our, our um, excitement with how they're training by the fact that we're not playing genuine opposition yet. So, you know, we'll find out sooner soon enough uh, when we play Carlton in our first NAB Cup game just how we're going but you know I can't fault their intensity so far.